Hello friends, welcome to Olive Pod. I hope you are all doing well and your exam preparations are going good too. In this video, we are going to discuss the 200 most important GK or the current affairs questions for the month of November. This video is part 2 of the series. Before we start with the video, don't forget to take up a free mock test provided by Olive Board by clicking on the link which is provided in the description box. So take up a free mock test, analyze your performance, know what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses, which are the areas you're consuming a lot of time and where you can save a lot of time. So analyze all of that by taking an expert feedback by Olive Board and structure your preparations accordingly. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, go ahead and subscribe now to not miss any videos from us. Oliveport has launched the IBPS Clerk Cracker course, which is a free live online course through which we are comprehensively covering the entire syllabus for all the three sections for Clerk, which are Quant, Reasoning as well as Verbal. So if you want to join the course and take the live practice sessions and live classes as well as live doubt clearing sessions. So click on the link which is provided in the description box. Let's start with the first question. The State Bank of India is set to raise a certain amount by issuing Basel 3 compliant bonds. So what is the value that SBI is going to raise by issuing these bonds? The correct answer here is option 2 which is 4116 crores which the SBI will raise by issuing the Basel 3 compliant bonds to add up to its tier 2 capital. Now as per this bond program the bank will issue 41,159 non-convertible, taxable, redeemable, subordinated, unsecured debt instruments to raise the particular amount. So remember this value because it can be asked in the examination. Who among the following became the first ever gymnast to win 13 gold in individual world competition? So amongst the following who is it? The correct answer is option 5 which is Simone Biles who became the first ever gymnast to win the 13 world championship gold medals with victory in the individual world competition 2018 which was held in Qatar. Now American Simone Biles broke all time record that was set by Belarusian male gymnast Vitaly Skirbo in the year 1996. Recently, which state government approved the investment proposals of Nalco Vedanta with huge potential for job creation? So from the following options, what is the correct answer? It is option 4, which is the state of Orissa that gave approval for investment proposals worth 25,845 crores for setting up six mega manufacturing facilities by Nalco, Hindalco, Vedanta and Chiripal Polyfilms Limited. It has the overall potential to create around 13,700 jobs in the state of Orissa. Which of the following port authorities is set to host the edible oil refinery to boost income? So from the following options, what is the correct answer? It is option 4 which is Jawaharlal Nehru Port Trust in Maharashtra. So it is the nation's largest container port in Navi Mumbai and it is planning to host an edible oil refinery. This is to maximize the revenue and also to ensure captive cargo. Now the state run port already has a liquid cargo terminal and four container terminal of the city's east coast. So it is planning to host this edible oil refinery to boost income. 
Ola is planning to expand its international operations to which of the following countries? So here the correct answer is option 3 which is New Zealand. So after Australia and the UK, the Indian ride hailing company Ola is now foring into New Zealand and it will offer its services in Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch. And the company which started its international operations earlier this year. Which space telescope of NASA has retired after running out of fuel? So of the following options, what is the correct answer? It is option 3 which is the Kepler space telescope that has retired after running out of fuel needed for the further science operations. NASA's first planet hunting mission Kepler was launched in the year 2019 has widely exceeded all expectations and paved the way for more exploration According to the engineering firm Arcadis, which of the following cities is the most sustainable city in the world? The correct answer is option 4 which is London. So according to Arcadis, London is the most sustainable city in the world while Singapore maintained its rank as Asia's top city in the sustainability index. It clinched the fourth spot in the global ranking for its collective approach in rolling out its smart nation initiatives. So London is the most sustainable city according to Arcadis. Changsa declaration is related to which of the following? So of the following options, what is the Changsha declaration related to? The correct answer is option 4 which is to end poverty and hunger. So this is in a bid to stamp out the poverty and hunger in more than 20 countries have committed to this declaration and the commitment came at the end of a forum on international development cooperation that was held in China to ramp up the efforts towards the South-South cooperation. President Ramnath Kovind inaugurated Gyan Kumbh in which of the following cities? The correct answer is option 3 which is Haridwar. So the president appreciated the role of the Uttarakhand government in forging coordination with centre in a matter of providing education. The president also stressed the need to impart quality education while inaugurating the Gyan Kumbh in uh, in Haridwar. Which of the following organization has started creating digital public credit registry to get 360 degrees profile of the borrower? So of the following options, what is the correct answer? It is option 4 which is RBI that has initiated the setting up of a digital public credit registry to capture details of all the borrowers including willful defaulters and also the pending legal suits in order to check the financial delinquencies. Now this public credit registry will provide a 360 degree profile of the borrowers. Facebook has partnered with which of the following news agencies to spot fake news in India? The correct answer is option 3 which is AFP that is Agents France Presse. Now uh, it is expanding the third party fact checking program in India as it looks to combat the spread of fake news on its platform ahead of the general elections in the year 2019. So remember this, this is very important and can be asked in the examination. Recently the signature bridge was inaugurated and it is located on which river? So of the following options, what is the correct answer? 
it is option 5 which is river yamuna so the signature bridge was inaugurated in delhi on river yamuna and it has been open for the public it was inaugurated by the chief minister of delhi arvind kejriwal and the bridge is 675 meters long and it will reduce the travel time in delhi and share the burden of the wazirabad bridge HSBC India and which bank have successfully executed a blockchain enabled letter of credit so of the following options what is the correct answer it is option 5 which is ing bank so hsbc and ing bank brussels have successfully executed a blockchain enabled letter of credit transaction between the reliance industries and tricon energy now this letter of credit was issued by the ing bank for tricon energy usa which is the importer rbi imposes fine on which of the following payment bank for contravening action against the directive of the rbi so one of the following payments bank was recently imposed a fine for going against the directive given by the rbi which is that payments bank the correct answer is option 1 which is the fino payments bank the fine that was imposed by rbi was of 1 crore rupees this is for opening new account despite the warning so the fine has been or has been imposed for contravention of the direction to stop the opening of new accounts until further instructions on account of violation of certain licensing conditions so hence rbi has imposed this fine on the fino payments bank the headquarter of paytm payment bank is located at which city so of the following options what is the correct answer it is option 2 which is noida as we know paytm is an indian e-commerce payment system and a digital wallet company which is based in noida vijay shekhar sharma is the founder of paytm and satish kumar gupta is the ceo of the paytm payments bank who among the following has been elected as the president of international boxing association so of the following options what is the correct answer it is option 2 that is gafur rakhimov who has been elected as the president of international boxing association originally the association international de box amateur hence called aiba now gafur rakhimov is an uzbek businessman and by beating serik konakbev gafur won the presidentship for the international boxing association according to npci upi transactions in october has increased by what percentage in volume when compared to the month of september the correct answer is option 3 which is 19 percentage so the upi transactions in october have increased by 19 percentage in volume than september and the value has increased by 25% to 74978.27 crores now this was according to the data that was released by npci which is national payment corporation of india who among the following clinched the malaysian grand prix 2018 title so of the following options what is the correct answer who clinched the malaysian grand prix 2018 title the correct answer is option 3 which is mark marquez who won the title in malaysia grand prix 2018 now the world champion mark marquez won his ninth race of the MotoGP season after Valentino Rossi crashed four laps from the finish while leading the Malaysian Grand Prix Ministerial level meeting for the implementation of INSTC will be held in which of the following countries 
so INSTC is International North South Transport Corridor now the meeting will be held in the country of Russia so India will hold a meeting with Iran and Russia to implement the INSTC which is International North South Transport Corridor for which the meeting which is the first of its kind in many years is likely to be held in Russia in the month of November the 11th Asian Shooting Championship is being held in which of the following countries so the correct answer is option 2 which is Kuwait and India's junior shooters Divyansh Singh Panwar and Ilavenil Valarivan won the silver and bronze medals in their respective air rifle events of the 11th Asian Shooting Championship that was held at Kuwait city now the Asian Shooting Championship is being governed by the Asian Shooting Confederation that's all we have for you in this video i hope you like the video do share it with your friends who are also preparing for banking and government examinations and if you've not subscribed to our youtube channel yet go ahead and subscribe now to not miss any videos thank you